how's everyone doing today? What we're going to be doing, we're going to be smoking three racks of ribs on three different smokers. The same seasonings, the same wood. We're going to figure out which smoker smokes the best. I'm Andy. Cameraman is Dylan. So to save myself from getting killed for my wife, I'm going to open these over the sink. Otherwise, I'll have blood everywhere. You see I'm already gloved up. A lot of people like to remove this membrane here. I'm going to leave it on. By the time we get done with these, you won't even know it's there. There's your second rack. Look, I've done got blood on the clean dishes. The wife's gonna kill me. Yeah. I'll give you two dollars if you drink it. Maybe for five dollars. Okay. I've got plenty left. As you can see, I've lost a glove. The reason for this is so I can open seasonings, etc., etc. Etc. We're gonna start off with a little bit of mustard. Now I'm sure by now you've watched enough videos to learn why we use mustard. But if you haven't, well, it's because it gives your seasoning something to bind to. Here we go. You don't need much, you just want enough to rub on. Now don't get me wrong, when I do a pork butt or a pork shoulder, I use a whole lot of mustard. It gives you a lot of bark. And a lot of times that bark is a real good thing. There's a lot of people out there who say, I'll oh, just season it right before. There's a lot of people out there who say season it 24 hours ahead of time. I'm seasoning them eh, probably about 12 hours ahead of time. That's going to be good enough for me and for the purpose of this video. This is my little concoction. This is my homemade coffee rub. I use a coffee rub. This is very bold, very earthy. This will bring out a flavor like nothing you've ever had before if you've never had a coffee rub. Just because it's got the word coffee in it does not mean that you're gonna have a cup of coffee taste when this meat's done. I promise you it'll be far from that. But what you will have is some very, very good meat. I'll put a link in the description of a rub that you can use to mimic this. Very easy to make. As you can see, I make it in large quantities because I tend to go through it. Again, there's really no need to do anything in that membrane, so I'm not going to. Now these ribs, Dylan and I both traveled about four and a half hours away to get these. I know you might think we're crazy. We could have got some regular ribs in the grocery store. 
these ribs are special. These are extra meaty. That's just not something you can get in a grocery store around here. So we traveled to the coast. We picked these up in a local store down there where there's plenty of hog farms, plenty of pork, great prices. Just too bad we had to use all that fuel. Go ahead and get lots and lots seasoning on here. Now what you're going to notice when you refrigerate this, you know, even just a few hours, you're going to notice all the extra flavor that you're going to have in here when you're done. Pull that for me. There we go. I'm sure. Woohoo! Woo mm -hmm. But a lot of you don't know exactly what this is. You do not have to use this, okay? This is a little bit of curing salt. You might think I'm crazy for using a little bit of curing salt, but I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna give your ribs a little bit of a hamminess. If you've never tried it, you might as well try it at least once. You do not need much curing salt, I promise you. And these aren't going to be in the refrigerator long enough to set up exactly like a ham would. Now we're simply just going to put this in your ordinary clean wrap, wrap this back up. It's a lot easier when my wife's in here helping. <laughs> oh, that's just lovely. So clingy. There you have it. All three racks are done. And we're gonna put those in the fridge. We're gonna let those mellow out overnight. Tomorrow, we'll put those in the smoker. Very important, stay safe, wash your hands, clean up your work environment. Let's take a look at why you tuned in today. Well, this already doesn't look too good. Let me tell y'all something. This pit boss copper head here, as you can see, already has an error message on it. I don't know what it means. I just bought this today. The bad thing is I bought one a week ago, assembled it, plugged it in today, and it didn't work. So I had to take it all the way back to the store just to get told that I couldn't return it. So I had to buy another one, and now it has an error message. This is just not looking too great. This here, regular standard pellet grill this is your big horn you can buy these at Royal King they're very similar to the pit boss this is a master built 40 inch electric smoker now mine is modded out with what they call a mailbox mod I use a little grill you can see all about that tomorrow but I'm here to show you that you can cook these ribs on three different smokers that you can buy at your Walmart for cheap. You're not having to go out and spend $1,200, $1,300 plus dollars on a smoker. You can make these ribs at home. They'll taste fantastic. And I'll figure out tomorrow which one of these smokers is going to make the best rib.